what is there to say? I mean, uh, so much respect for South Dakota State. They are so good playing in front of this crowd. Um, you know, it's, it's so difficult. Sweet 16 team from last year, obviously one of the best teams in our conference. Um, so much respect for them. I'm just, this is the only team in our conference that our seniors hadn't beaten since our new staff had been here. So we really, really wanted this game for, for, um, for our seniors. And the team is so happy. I'm so proud of these guys and just happy we're leaving here with a win, even though I am drenched. <laughs> Madison, what does a win like this mean to you? Just kind of what you said, you guys have never won here. Your seniors have never beat them at all, and they're such a good team. They don't lose here very often. How big is this win? Uh, it was a really big deal to our team for like a lot of reasons. Like she said, like in our four years, this was the one team we've never beaten, so this was a really fun experience. And we've had some rough bumps along the season, but we always knew that like we were capable of something like this, so I think this was exactly what we needed to get back on track, and it was really fun for our team. How'd you do it? You guys are giving up about 80 points a game in conference and you held them to 50. I don't, I know, we just had a different mindset this week. I think we were really just sick of losing games that we shouldn't have been losing. And we came into this one definitely the underdog, so I think we really took it as a challenge. And we really just had fun with it, and I think we all really played together out there and we got the win. Coach, did you change things up defensively? Have surprised them with a game plan? Um, well, I don't know if I surprised them with a game plan, but, you know, all week, which is very funny because I'm an offensive coach, everyone knows that, <laughs> the players know that, everybody on our staff knows that, and um, they've actually been picking on me all week because we have worked on almost, I would say, probably 80-20 defense, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I don't know if we surprised them with a the deal. We have changed our defense a little bit in the last, what, five games, five yeah. or six games, I'd say. Um, and just really been playing a different type of defense. But, you know, last time we played them, they killed us in the post. And we made the adjustment too late, um, the way we were guarding them. And then uh, today we came out starting that way. So we were just, you know, we didn't want their post to touch the ball because they hurt us so bad last time. So we focused on that a lot. We focused on our help side a lot. And then, you know, <laughs> I could sit here and take credit for the game plan. That is not what it was. Our kids had a ton of heart. They, they trusted me. They trusted the coaching staff. They trusted each other. They trusted the game plan. And they, they're the ones that did it. They deserve all the credit. It doesn't have anything to do with the game plan that I put in place. It's, it's on them. They did it. It was all heart. Close game going into the fourth quarter, and you talked about you know their home crowd, and they don't lose here very often. What did you like about how kind of the poise your team showed in, in not allowing them to come back when obviously the, the crowd was kind of trying to will them back into it? Yeah, you know, every time the crowd got so loud, it's we could we. We'd go on these scoring drafts, but every time the crowd got so loud, somebody like this one here would figure out a way to quiet them and, and get a bucket. So, I mean, you know, that kind of deflates them, which is very helpful because I know how that crowd is when they get going out there. It's, it's hard to get them to, to settle down. So I, am, I cannot tell you how proud I am of our poise. We, that is something we struggle with. Um, you know, we've had a couple games in conference lately that we don't do well when things do, don't go our way or, you know, fourth quarter like that. Um, we kind of fold, and I wouldn't say fold, but you know, we've had issues with that in the past, staying poised and staying together. But you know, we just, we've been focusing on five minutes at a time, and we did that in the, every huddle, every time out. That was the message calm down, stay poised, stay together, you know, calm down, stay poised, stay together. We just kept, and everybody bought into it. And I'm very proud of our, of our poise and our, you know, level headedness there at the end of the game because that's something that we've struggled with in the past. Madison, what do you think a win like this? I mean, I know there's still a few games left in the regular season, but what does a win like this? do for your confidence heading into the conference tournament? Uh, yeah, this was like a really big deal for our team. Kind of like what you guys just talked about in the fourth quarter, we've definitely struggled these past few games winning it in the fourth quarter. We've had leads or like, we've had close games we've kind of let slip away and I think we were finally just fed up with it and I really think our team took the next step, next step here and I think this is really good momentum for us to finish the season out. Coach, do you think this a win like this shows your players kind of what they're capable of doing? Absolutely, absolutely. Again, I mean, such a well-respected team. And, you know, it's no secret that we struggle on the road. We, we've struggled on the road since we got here, since our staff got here, we've struggled on the road. And, um, you know, for us to come in here against this team, again, that, that, you know, so well-respected, their staff, their players, they're a very good team. But I absolutely think this is, this is a boost in our confidence. You know, we, we talked about going on a run. We wanted to go on a run, and, and they brought it up. Not me, it was them. They brought it up. They wanted to go on a run, and they really believed in that. And you know, the last three days, they have absolutely prepared to do this. They prepared to do it. They prepared to win. So um, this was not given to them. They've worked their butt off for this. They earned this. This is something that we've been, you know, honestly working for for three years since our, the new staff came in. And this was a goal of ours. And I'm just, I'm so happy that we got to accomplish it tonight with our seniors out here.